Melbourne and welcome back here to Canning Farms and uh, in today's video with the fertilizer spreader on so uh, gonna get some 18612 out today. So I'm just gonna fuel up for the day now just to make sure I have enough uh, stuff in the tank there to keep me going and uh, the spreader I this isn't my spreader now I actually rented this for the day so uh, Mulroy machinery is just over the road there in Bohola so so that's their details there um, I leave them down below as well so um, Brenda Mulroy um, and the sons, what they do is they rent out machinery uh, and they refurb the likes of them spreaders, uh, ploughs, toppers, mowers, everything. Uh, so if you're interested in anything like that, give them a bell. Uh, I'm sure they'll have something there. When I was over there the last day, there was loads of stuff over there. This is what I'm spreading now today. It's uh, this, it's a uh, Goulden 18612. And before anyone goes, you should have got it in 50 kilo bags to fill that spreader. I know, that stuff is left over from last year. The contractor used to do it from last year. Uh, So now, <coughs> that's it there now, so that's the way your chemical fertilizers come. So as you can see, they're just granules. Um, so the rate that I'm going spreading this at is a bag to the acre, or if you're from abroad, uh, a bag is 50 kilos. So I am spreading this at uh, 50 kilos uh, to the acre, just on the grazing ground. And then if I have any left over, I go out to where I'm putting my silage and I might give it two bags because the urea hasn't arrived yet, so. Um, but that's what it looks like anyway. So that's all loaded up now, so um, I'm just going to head out to the field now and start spreading. So I'm just putting in about 250-300 kilos at a time. Um, the spreader can take 500, but just the tractor. I'm just going up and down hills, so I just want to make sure it's alright, it's not too heavy. Um, like I said, the reason why I'm using 18612 over, say, nitrogen or anything like that on my grazing ground is because we're low on P and K. And uh, the 18612 will give that that boost that it needs, uh, that little bit of feeding that it needs. Um, 18612 always worked well here on Ireland. Um, I used to exclusively use all 18612, but this year now I'm going to use a bit of urea, like I said in the last video. Um,
So I done the green cert, which is like, I suppose your qualification for farming. Uh, back in 2017, as part of that, then I done it part time, so because I was working. So I done it up in, in Bannon Road there, done it one night, one day a week. So it took about two years to do, but part of that, we'd go to Mount Bellew up in uh, Galway, up to the Ag College there, and we'd. Uh, learn how to spread fertilizer properly and calibrate spreaders and everything and sure. They put you on a tractor with no spreader and you have to shout out the back window whenever you're if you're pretending to spread. You have to shout spreading out the back window and then when you are got to the end then to turn around you have to shout out the window not spreading sure. I don't see didn't learn a whole pile up doing that now but out so that's all the grazing ground covered now so I'm just gonna head back and get some tea but um the plan now is probably next week I'll probably let out the 10 or 20 of the of the lightest the heifers uh, let them out on grass I'll probably try and keep them out full time uh, and then probably the week after or two weeks after when I get a build up of grass then I let the, the rest of the bigger heifers out when we get ready then for breed but um just give me a chance there as well to go around when I'm spreading the fertiliser to see all the state of the fences and things like that. So silage ground or what I call the silage ground there where I spread the last bit, uh, it's fine. Uh, all the fences are 100%, uh, drinkers are fine. I just have to put in a few more drinkers just so it's easier to split the paddocks. Jesus, malfunction. <laughs> but uh, apart from that then, uh, on the grazing ground then, uh, it's uh, there's a few I have two paddocks fixed up already and then I just have one more, uh, the last paddock then is the, the fences need to be totally replaced in it so. Uh, I changed my mind over dinner, I let out the 11 smallest here just to clean off this paddock here, it's getting sprayed anyway um, in a couple of weeks time so I might as well get it grazed off now and uh, let them eat up. Um, but these are, like I said, the ones that were the lightest so they'll probably Get the best benefit to being out just before i drop it back um i give it a wash there I, i'm going to grease it up there now so it's all ready to be dropped back so like i said anybody needs any if they want to buy or rent out a bit of machinery uh, give brendan Mulroy a, a, a shout there in bohola and um, like i said he has loads of stuff over there so that's it for today first of the 18 6 12 is out and the first of the cattle are out the grass so thank god there's an end of to winter in sight so uh, I'll just leave it at that for today so thanks and like always if you like the video hit subscribe and like it all helps so cheers thanks and see you in the next one